Lance and Greg here again, once again for our casual Fridays live stream, answering your questions about all things HR, employee engagement, leadership, etc., etc. Sure. Um, sure. So we have a question this week, and the question comes in from, and I'm probably going to get your name wrong, so it may be um, Michelle, or I actually looked up the Polish pronunciation of this because I felt that could be the pronunciation, is Miao. So I think we'll go with Michelle maybe. I like Miha. But what if that's wrong? Let's do both. Let's intersperse as we do this. All right. Okay. But we're doing our best here. We're, we're, <laughs> All right. We're okay. here to serve. Go so on. I'm going to read the question and then uh, we'll get your thoughts on it. So the question's about COVID-19. Surprise. Mm. surprise. Um, but she's asking, what are the, uh, the after effects of COVID-19? I suppose after COVID-19, employees... Uh, I'll start again. I suppose after COVID, will the employees leave even if companies look after them? The changes due to COVID have left a workforce that is tired, stressed, connection may be an issue, which in turn leads to disengagement. So we've seen this to be a, a real thing among a lot of teams. In fact, earlier in the year, we actually ran an employee engagement survey with about 50 workplace leaders across the globe. And we wanted to see what their, in, uh, their connection was. So we actually measured connection of people and organizations. Um, so maybe you can share some insight into that and yeah. maybe give some more into Michelle Miao's Absolutely. Okay, so um, Mihal, well, I'll talk about the survey first. Essentially, we found that 58% of people were actually disconnected right at the beginning of COVID. What we also found was that some of the stresses related to um, technology, that people were being forced into technology, but some of the upside uh, out of that was people felt that they had more uh, opportunity to connect with their leaders. However, the downside out of that was that people found that their relationship with the leaders uh, was diminishing. And the reason for that was that the leaders didn't trust the people who had to work from home. Um, but what we have found is that the biggest thing that leaders had to learn was to basically trust themselves and also other people and to let go of ego so that people could actually um, have flexibility in the workplace because a lot of the stresses were people adjusting at that particular time. But also too, there's a lot of stuff that was happening at home, such as um, educating children, uh, people having to set up uh, work at home uh, environments. Uh, but it's interesting is the biggest stressor came to the fact that uh, bosses wanted their people to be productive. However, the technology didn't allow a lot of people to do it because they either couldn't get access to remote files or even access to their uh, remote systems as well. So, you know, um, I think the answer to what uh, Mihal's question is um, is in the can. Can of beans. The can of beans. See, I've got a, you've got a can of beans. Yep. Uh, and I've got a can of beans. <laughs> um, what's your use by date on the can of beans, Lance? 21st of the 1st, 2017. So these are out of date. Okay, so mine's the 3rd of March, uh, 2025. So, so I suppose around that question of will people uh, leave the organization, I think every can of beans has, has a use by date. So it's actually quite normal. So um, over here in Australia, the Australian Bureau of Statistics uh, will show that on average you get about a 10% staff turnover rate. Um, I think, you know, looking at economic factors and people actually wanting security, over the next uh, 12 to 24 months, I think you'll actually find that that 10% staff turnover will drop because people want security of jobs. Uh, I think as the economy starts to pick up, I think you'll find that the average turnover will get back to normal at about 10%. Now, every industry is different. Uh, so for example, uh, call centers uh, in telecommunications have a churn rate or a staff turnover rate uh, of about 25 to 30 so you need to identify what's relevant as well and also two different uh, job positions um, so it all comes down to how can you keep people engaged but also too we need to look at um, what are the motivators of people in, in the workplace 